Alright, welcome back to Final Fantasy IV Advance on Game Boy Advance. This is not where I left off, but I decided to come here to do a little shopping. We are in Mithril, alright? Um, okay, uh... By this point in the game, some of you may be on the level like I was, so I did a little leveling up. You can also come here to get a, um... I already bought them to show you. Myth Mithril Staff, but don't buy that. Mithra knife, don't buy that. Mithra hammer, if you want to use it that much, then Mithra hammer um might help, but no, don't really need it. Mithra sword, you might want to get that for Cecil, right? Also, uh, come over here to the armor shop, and you can get a strong armor for Cecil, so you can take hits a little, little more often. Actually, Cecil and Sid can wear this stuff, so that might help, but this is a little expensive for this point in the game. The Mithra armor, okay. Uh, the reason why I told you not to buy the Mithril Stab because if you come over here, there will be one right inside there. I already picked it up, alright? And he's wearing it right now, but I think it just, uh, you know, makes him call, cast an S in a little more, but, you know. I, I'll probably end up selling it later on, so. Alright? Uh, I don't know if there's anything else in here. Let me just look around because, you know, I haven't played this damn game in so long. I don't remember everything about it. It'll all come back to me, but I don't think there's anything else hidden in this uh, town. Oh, never mind. Oh, 5,000 gear. Cool. All right, see that? Huh, I just stumbled upon it. <laughs> but yeah, like every, every town, there's always like at least at least something hidden somewhere. So make sure you, you search every town because there's always like something hidden in every town, whether it's, a, whether it's the bushes or, or a vase or something like that. So search everywhere and you'll be surprised what you might find. All right, so I think I'm leveled up enough to go into the next area, which is Troya. Well, I'm not gonna fight until I'm gonna fight in the cave with the uh, that stupid dark elf thing, whatever. Okay. Uh, last episode we defeated Kagnazu, or how you pronounce that elemental lord's name. Uh, that guy sucks, man. I mean, all you gotta do is just just, just wait till he surrounds the board and cast um, Thunder God twice, and you'll kill him. So I mean, come on, really, really easy boss. Okay. All right. Uh, we have to get the uh, Earth Crystal, otherwise Rose is gonna die. So. Uh, we have no choice, all right? Uh, before going to the dark cave, I mean, yeah. But before going to the cave, you want to come here first. Uh, let's see here. Now I already picked it up, but uh, there's some wine in one of these uh, vases, you know, that causes berserk. So I already got it. I don't think there's anything else in here. Okay. One of those vases have a uh, wine in it, so you can put yourself in berserk. Very useful. Uh, isn't this that? Okay, on the remake version, I think uh, you, you get something good back here. So, and I'm not talking about the dance with the girls. I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you, you get like an item or something like that. All right, we want to come in here. There we go. Tent, tent. That opens up. High potion. High potion. That opens up. Either, either, and finally, Ruby Ring and Ruby Ring. Very, very nice there. Okay. All right. I do not want to go that way. I've already been here. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay. I don't think there's anything down there. Go back up here. Next, you want to go here. You have to do this. You must, and I mean, you must do this. Uh, by the way, I, I didn't do any practicing for this episode because this is a sequel that I, I only want to do once. So, I mean, this sequel is probably the most known sequel in the game with the Dark Elf. So, okay. Edward. Cecil, you're alive. I'm so relieved. I wish to join you again. You cannot help in that condition. You cannot help in that condition, though. You'd only burden us. Uh, as I said, I didn't do any practicing for this episode, so my commentary is going to be a little off, alright? Tell her, I can't ask for your forgiveness. And I died because of me. <sighs> I can never atone for that. Edward, you have to be your greatest concern now. You should get your rest. Yang, so you all survive. Where's Vidya? I see. I wish I had been to help you out during our last battles. All you did was run away like a little. Edward, <sighs> hey, you suck, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use you probably 
one time through the rest of this LP, and that's only to show them uh, of the glitch. But I'm never gonna use you again after this. I know you have all 99s at the end of the game, but still, you suck, man. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. You must be Sid, the airship engineer. Wait, does it mean you have an airship? Cecil, what became of Rosa? Gobez proposed a trade. He returned Rosa for the crystal. Yeah, right. Okay. But the crystal lies in the hands of the dark elf. How did you know that? I didn't go. I didn't talk to the girls yet. How, how did you know the dark elf had the crystal? The dark elf. Cecil, you must take this. What is it? This is the only way I can be helping you. Twin harp. What are we gonna do with a harp, man? Come on. Cecil, please save Rosa. Okay, how did you know that the Dark Elf had the crystal? Nobody said anything about Dark Elf holding the crystal. Uh, in any case, uh, what, what, what happened here is uh, this is an all girl uh, castle, so Edward's kind of lucky to be in this castle with all these girls. So, okay, wish I was him right about now. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to be him because he's a little wuss. Uh, this is where the crystal was supposed to be, but uh, as he just said, it lies in the hands of the Dark Elf. I don't know how he figured that out, but okay. If you talk to him, if you talk to these t these girls here, they will tell you, you know, what happened to the crystal, blah blah blah. blah but okay, so I guess you were supposed to do this first, but you know, you don't you don't have to do this apparently, because once you get the harp, you're out of here, all right? Uh, I don't think there was anything else. Uh, let's see. All right, so basically, Cecil told them uh, he, he Cecil made a, a deal with them that if he get his back, he can borrow for a while. So okay. All right. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to hoof it from here. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, nothing important here. I've already entered them in the beast scenario because I did a little leveling up here. As you can see, my stats are a little stronger than they were before. Uh, let's see. All right. All right. Hey, what we got here? It's a black chocobo. What can it do? Come here, you. Okay, thank you. They can fly. Black chocobos can fly, but they can't fly with mountains, unfortunately. They can only land in the grass. They cannot. They cannot land on. I'm sorry. They can't land on the grass like this. They have. They have to land in the bushes. I do not know why that is. Maybe that was a ram problem. I don't know. But oh well. I don't care. All right. I'm going to save my game before going in here. All right, uh, uh, this place is kind of hell because uh, all metal equipments are disabled until you get to the dark elf. Let's see, wooden uh, leather cap, metal. I don't know if that's metal or not. Let me see. All right, I'm gonna save my game. Now I'm gonna go in here. Magnetic cave. The man is powerful. I couldn't anything metal slows down. My claws appear to be ineffective. Fair enough! We stand invisible with my magic! Okay, so Nancy's swords are useless, so that's not good. Cecil cannot use his sword, alright? Uh, in the remake, I think you'll know without having any of the battle whether or not you're affected by this uh, stuff here. Let's see. Okay. You see that? I need to show you that. That's why you want to save your game. Alright? I showed you that. I did that on purpose. If all your characters have metal on, you will automatically get a game over there, okay? Alright. Hope you learn from that. So make sure you save your game in case you forget to un unequip something. But in any case, don't do not do what I just did without saving the game, okay? Alright, we need to take this off. Okay. Take that off. Actually, Cecil can't wear anything, unfortunately. Uh, Mythos staff, let's put on the rod for the cat, got it well. Uh, I don't know if all this stuff is a uh, metal or silver armor. Let's see, take that off. Another cut to fit, band, thunder claw. Okay, let's see what we got now. Fair enough, we stand invisible with my magic. Yeah, 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 okay. Let's see what we got. Alright, we're unaffected now, but unfortunately, Cecil cannot use his sword, that's not good. Okay, you can either let, uh, you can either let, um, Sid, Young, and Telly do all the magic, or you can just flee from every fight. 
personally, I do not like fighting in this area without without my best equipment. So, I am going to flee from each and every single fight here until I get to the Dark Elf. That's why I said I don't want to do this more than once because this is this is a very annoying uh, experience here. Now, Cecil can uh, equip a bow, but this will actually be the only level I use a bow, so it's, it's a waste of money, so I'm not going to do that. Okay. Uh, if I miss anything, I'll get it on the way out. I just want to get to the dark air so I can use my uh, my best stuff again. Unicorn horn. All right. All right. So, let's see here. I don't forgot which way to go. I haven't played the game in, about, in so long. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna lose a lot of gill in this uh, sequence here, cause I, I told you, I'm gonna run from every battle until I get to the, uh, until I get to the boss. Mind flares, uh, those things drop the, uh, drop the mind flare summon. It's useless in this game. However, in the, uh, in the remake, the mind flare summon is extremely extremely useful because they automatically paralyze enemies who are not immune to it this includes the red dragon you want to get that well you don't necessarily have to get it but it would definitely help you want to get that because you're gonna kill a lot of red dragons in your in your attempt to get the um, to get two uh, to get two um two red tails so you can get two onion swords for Cecil and Kane I thought there was a uh, hidden item in here let me see Apparently not. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so let's see. Ah. I mean, I'm actually capable of killing these guys with the uh, Teller's magic, but you no, know, I don't want to waste any time here. Ah, uh, back attack. That's all right. Three of my guys are in the back row, so only press some word about is uh, Teller, but you know, so ah, and sure enough, you hit him. Okay. Uh, which way do I go again? But do you see why I only want to do this one time? This is why I did not practice this episode because I haven't played this game in a long time, but I remember how much how annoying it was. Spot silk, high potion, and hourglass. Very good. All right, kind of useful for the boss there. Uh, let's see here. Well, not really. I was thinking about slow, so. Ogre and Kate Seath. Okay, so now we know the origin of that name. Fair Claw. I think this is the origin of the game. If I'm wrong, correct me, please, because I, I have not played Final Fantasy 1, 2, or 3, unfortunately. Oh, Claws. Now, okay. Uh, I think this thing causes uh, confusion sometimes. The Fair Claws, it, it does some kind of status effect, so I'm not going to fight until I get to the until I get to the boss. But okay. I don't know if I'm even going the right way. Yes, I'm going the right way. Okay. Uh, go get this first. Emergency exit. You want to use... Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Okay. I don't have to fight my way out. But there might be some items in here that I miss. And I do want to kill some fiends here so I can add them in beast in there. But I can always come back and do that later. So, if need be, I'll... Um, yeah, I'll do that later. Okay. All right. Uh, do not worry about do not worry about this first fight because there's absolutely nothing. And I mean nothing you can do for this first fight. I commend your effort, but your excursion ends here. You will never get the crystal. You cannot defeat me with those weapons. We shall see about that. Let's see how I like my magic spells. Okay. There's actually nothing, and I mean nothing you can do about this fight. This fight is fixed. You will, and I mean will, lose this first battle. I think the only, I think the only purpose of this is to actually give Edward some use because he's he really really sucks. He's about to wipe you out for about what five thousand? Can you withstand this, Fire Eye, Thunder Eye, I do not know if it's possible to over level and win this fight, but look at this. There's just like there's like nothing you can do to win this fight. We stand no chance. I need my sword. Ugh. We don't have that much hit points. Okay. Uh, if you don't talk to Edward, I think that's a game over. I'm not sure because I've never done this without talking to Edward. So if someone knows the answer to that, please uh, let me know. But I think you are required to talk to Edward. 
Alright. If only I could use my sword. Yeah. Seriously, the only reason why they put this little secret in is, is so they can actually give Edward some music because he really sucks. Okay. Cecil and his friends are in danger. And you're still falling. Where are you going? You are in no condition to move. I'm fine. I just need to get my heart. Ugh. Please, go back to your bed. <coughs> I must help them. Uh, in the remake, there's a music player. Uh, it was playing the harp, but you know. He plays the harp during all the music. The twin harp sounds of the melody. The twin harp sounds of the melody from Edward's harp. Huh? This melody is Edward. Gah! What is this tortoise sound? He cannot control the man in the field while I am playing. Now, draw your sword. Right. Your hit points are automatically recovered. Thank God. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, dark elemental monster, so you want to use your, your sword legend because it, it's, it's a holy base, I believe. I should have kept that other stuff. But whatever. All right, uh, now that Edward's uh, finally showing some use here, <laughs> this guy's not that hard, but make sure you're ready, all right? Uh, all right, let's try this little tango again. You guy! Okay, I don't know exactly what caused him to, to transform to his second form, but... Oh, it, it's not gonna hurt this time around. Don't worry about it. See that? Then It didn't do a triple digit. Alright, uh, anyway, I'm saying, I do not know what caused him to go to his uh, second form, but, uh... Now, that tornado is still a problem, alright? That tornado still puts you in a caution mode. Uh, can I study him? Doesn't look like it. Here's the boss after all, so okay. Uh, Whisper, what's that do? Uh, saving magic for the, uh... Saving magic for the, uh, other form. Fire Rye. Let Cecil, Sid, and, uh, and Yang attack him here. Saving magic for the, uh... For the real form. Ah, oh, why did I do that? Oh well. As I was saying, I do not know exactly when he will morph to his other form. I don't know if, if it's if it's fixed or not, but see sometimes Cecil's white magic does come in handy if you like don't wanna don't want your white mage to do it or you don't want Teller to do it, so it comes in handy sometimes. Say your prayers! Alright, here we go. The Dark Dragon The real boss. You see that, um, that sword, that, that holy sword is doing a lot of damage to him, alright? Uh, oh, I forgot, he's, uh, he was just, uh, I, I, I have not played this game in so damn long, I do not even know what his weakness is anymore. Well, I know his weakness is holy, but, you know, I, I've only got Cecil's, uh, dark sword, so, I guess I'll let, tell it, whoa, look at that, nice. I guess I'll let Teller focus on healing. And you know what? I want to make sure I win this fight. Therefore, this is one of the few fights where I use... Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Let's drink some wine. We're going berserk. Let's put him in haste. And Cecil's just going to just mock the floor with you right about now, I hope. Hope he gets turned to attack you. I want to see how much damage it does. Dark breath. And we're not dead yet. Oh shoot. Oh, there we go. Woohoohoo! Alright. Not bad, huh? So that's 
so it's not necessarily a hard fight but if you come in under load then you're probably gonna get cream so just be careful here all right this cannot be with the crystal my eternal life Thank you, Edward. Edward finally has some use. Wow. And we got the Earth Crystal. Uh, I'll come back here later if I miss something, but I just do not. I, I don't like this place. So I'm going to use my mercy. Where's the damn thing? Okay. I'm going to go and use my mercy exit and get the hell out of here. Yay, we made it out. Go back on the chocobo. He automatically flies back to his forest. There's nothing you can... Drop my remote control. Damn. In a way, uh, the, 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 blue, the black chocobo automatically flies back to, the, to his, his own forest. There's nothing... Ugh. The black chocobo all mega fast back to his home. There's nothing you can do about that. All right. Uh, white chocobos are always come here. White chocobos are always helpful. All right. And let's do this the easy way. Yay! We don't have to fight any monsters here. All right. All right. Let's save our game. Let's go. I do not want to go here. Okay. All right, let's go thank Edward for finally doing something useful. All right. Yeah, that was the only, that was the only, and I mean the only purpose of this secret was so that he could finally have some use, because he sucks. You have returned. Thank you for your help, Edward. There's no need. Well, I don't understand how that worked. I first heard that melody back when I chopped to a mess. Back chopped to what? I didn't read that right. Okay. I told you I didn't do any passing for this episode. I recall it being something to be my straight L's and I thought it might work. We owe you our lives. No. I only... Ugh. Edward. I have long worked with Anna saw in you. But now I see it for myself. Uh, I don't. Courage. Rise from eternity. Curse? This guy's a complete coward. She was fortunate to have your love. Now be silent and hear your wounds. I promise I shall visit Anna for the both of us. Thank you. Edward, I look forward to fighting alongside you again. Uh, I do not. I am never. I told you. I'm only going to use him one time throughout this entire LP. And that's going and that's going to do to... um. I'm going to show you the glitch. The glitch actually makes him the most broken character in the game. But, well, he's still good outside of that because, you know, he can get all, all mess stats at level 99. And his weapon's pretty good, but still, I just don't like him. I do not like Edward. I'd rather use Edge because Edge does constant 9,000 constant 9, to anything regardless of how strong they are. Edge can do 99,000, but not 99, I'm thinking of a 5 fan 10. Edge can do 9,000 to any monster in the game regardless of how strong they are. All right. So can Kane. Oh my goodness! The Earth Crystal! You have reclaimed it! Hurrah! I see you have acquired the Earth Crystal. That voice! Kane! Bring the crystal to bring the crystal that bought the ship. I will take you to Rosa. Well, we don't have a choice, do we? Because if we don't, Rose is going to die. All right. Ah, uh, so Edward is in a castle with nothing but ladies. He is so lucky. Wow. Okay, he's going to have a lot of kids. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Actually, I think, I think he lives here after you beat the game. I don't remember. Okay. All right, so I'm going to be in this episode right now. Uh, I'm going to go back to that cave and pick up any knives I miss off screen. Yes, you're not going to see that. Sorry about that. So, uh, next episode, we will give the crystal to Kane and see if we can get Rosa. All right, I'll see you guys later.